Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Wow, wow, wow. Praise God from whom all blessings flow. Praise Him all creatures here below. Praise Him above ye heavenly hosts. Praise Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. Hallelujah, hallelujah. I apologize for this late start. Hallelujah. God is good, God is good, God is good. Hallelujah, hallelujah. What a mighty God we serve. What a mighty God we serve. Angels bow before Him. Heaven and earth adore Him. What a mighty God we serve. Good morning, Holy Spirit of God. And welcome, welcome into our presence. Welcome into our day. Welcome, Holy Spirit. We are in your presence. Fill us with your power. Live inside of us. Take full dominion, control, authority. Guide us, guard us, keep us with your mighty hand. Keep us free from evil powers and be our light through countless hours. To our leaders across the this, this seven continents of the world, O oh Holy Spirit, O oh you great defender, grant them true wisdom from above. Let justice and truth be ours forever. In the land, in the place, in the apartment complex, in the house, in the community, that we live and that you love. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Have thine own way, O Lord. Thou art the potter, we're just the clay. Mold us and make us. Teach us your will. Cover us, O Lord, and keep us. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. We bless your name today. We praise your name today. We glorify your name for you are awesome in this place. You are the almighty God and beside you there is no other God. Holy, holy, holy is the Lord God Almighty, he who was and is and is to come. Great and faithful is our God. Hallelujah. One songwriter says, how great is our God, how great is his name. He's the greatest one forever the same. He rolls back the waters from the mighty Red Sea and he says, I will lead you if you will trust in me. Father, we ask that you will lead us today, lead us this morning, lead us this afternoon, lead us this evening, lead us tonight, lead us every day, O God, for when you lead us, we get it right, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, hallelujah, hallelujah. We thank you this morning, O God, for your mercies that are new, we thank you for everything that you do, we thank you for your mind that is in us O oh god by your holy spirit we thank you for the spirit of wisdom and understanding the spirit of counsel and might let it be manifested upon us in an uncommon way we thank you for the spirit of knowledge and of the fear of the lord and that as we go and be and do for your good pleasure we accomplish all that you desire <clears throat> for us to accomplish in the mighty name <clears throat> of jesus christ hallelujah thank you lord Thank you, Lord. Thank you for all that you have done for us. Thank you for all that you continue to do for us according to your will. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Holy, holy, holy is the Lord God Almighty. Great and faithful is our God. Father, we want to lift up our nations before you this morning. We want to lift up the very nation that we are in, the very nation that we have migrated to, the very nation that we have adopted or that has adopted us in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Lord, so many of us do not live where we were born, but we still have the, the passport of the place of our birth. So many of us have shifted and have been completely transitioned to another nation. We pray, O oh God Almighty, for all of these nations this morning. Hallelujah. Majority of us live in the in the in the prominent nations like England and Canada and the United States of America. Hallelujah. Uh, and the Caribbean, uh, Father God. But there are other persons who live in Africa, in Colombia, in Venezuela. And so, Lord God Almighty, we lift up these nations as represented by this by by this platform this morning we lift up these nations and we ask oh god almighty that anyone who can find a flag who can find or just type the country hallelujah type the country where you are just type the country where you are please just help me here this morning we are prophetically declaring the place where we are blessed the place where we are living the place that we call home just type the country type the country type the country come on type the country and as you type the country and the names keep going up 
hallelujah that blessings will come upon that country hallelujah blessings will come upon that country come on instagram people type the country where you are if you're in jamaica still type type jamaica hallelujah if wherever you are just type the country and as the names go in and keep going up come on hallelujah it goes up on an, as a an prophetic incense in the nostrils of the lord and the place where you live gets blessed if the place where you live is blessed that means the people where you live will be blessed and if the people where you live is blessed then you will be blessed your community will be blessed your your, your family will be blessed and a blessed nation, hallelujah, is a nation whose people are blessed. And a, 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 nation's, a nation whose people are blessed is a nation that functions as the best in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. And so, Father, we prophetically declare that as your people type the names of the nation where they live, the nations where they are, are domiciled, I thank you, Lord, that blessings are raining down, raining down on these nations right now, raining down for you said uh, in your exchange with Abraham and that if you could find 50 righteous in Sodom and Gomorrah you would not destroy it God, God Almighty if you could find even 10 righteous you would not destroy them for all the evil they do father there is not a nation represented here in this family that does not deserve to be destroyed like Sodom and Gomorrah but God the righteous that are there the righteous that are crying out to you today the righteous that are saying God have mercy the righteous that are saying Lord we band together and cry out to you we know we do not deserve mercy but we're crying out because you are a merciful God you are not a God who will destroy us only because we deserve it but you are a God who looks to give mercy even when we don't deserve it and so Lord God Almighty we are calling out to you this morning for mercy upon these nations mercy upon our nations mercy upon our community mercy upon the place where we live mercy O oh God Almighty upon our community mercy upon our governments Lord God Almighty the governments are making decisions in these times that are not from the place of wisdom they are making decisions oh god by but from negative influence god almighty most of our governments around the world are functioning like even the garden of eden being influenced being spoken into being confused hallelujah uh, by 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 the serpent by the evil one by the dragon and god almighty they do not realize that all they are doing is setting themselves up like adam and eve to be kicked out of the place of peace out of the place of, 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 of provision, out of the place of protection, out of the place of eternal life, into the place of eternal condemnation. Father, may their eyes open, may they be wise, that they don't lose the prize, that their voices are not, just not making noise. God, may our governments, may our leaders receive wisdom and understanding, that they may make the right decisions for the nation. That, th that they are governing in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I thank you, Lord God Almighty, <coughs> that this day, uh, every member of parliament uh, is being touched right now wherever they are, whether they're awake or they're asleep. Uh, I thank you, Lord God Almighty, that presidents and prime ministers, uh, senators and, 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 and members of parliament, uh, God Almighty, you are touching them by your holy angels, uh, angels of the Most High God. Uh, dispatch, dispatch, dispatch to every nation, uh, to every nation, uh, and change the circumstances. Uh, minister to them. Visit them like you visited Abimelech. Uh, visit them like you visited Pharaoh. Visit them, O oh God Almighty, and deal with the issues uh, that concerns us, O oh God. Uh, may, the, may the nation's rulers, uh, O oh God Almighty, rule from the perspective of, 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 of Christian foundation and principles may they make decisions oh god almighty that will not work against we who are living and seeking to live according to righteousness holiness and truth god may they reverse even decisions that have been made ah god that will put them in the in the category of sodom and gomorrah god almighty may those decisions be reversed oh god almighty may every decision oh god that seeks to only benefit the the, the desires of lucifer be cancelled 
cancelled from the books in the mighty name of Jesus Christ and may life and life more abundantly be, be determined by the decisions that they make in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth bless the nations O God Almighty that we support that we live in and that we are benefiting from in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth have thine own way O God thou art the potter and we're just the clay mold us and mold our nations that we might be a representative of you in these nations in the name of Jesus Christ I pray O God Almighty that this day you will open the windows of heaven and pour out uncommon blessing upon those who are hearing me right now those who are members of this fourth watch family i pray oh god almighty that you will pour out health and strength prosperity and good success that you will cause us to be strong and mighty through you to the pulling down of every stronghold every stronghold against us every stronghold against our family every stronghold against our community every stronghold against our nation we pray oh god almighty that you will make us mighty warriors like the mighty men of valor that protected david god may nothing be impossible for us in this season may this year 2023 be the year when we take it to the enemy when we pursue overtake and recover all when we cut off the heads of the god the, the goliaths when we defeat the lions and the bears when we when we are placed in the dungeon but are not fearful of the pack of lions oh god that are there to destroy us when we are thrown in the fire god we know that we have on asthma we have on fire suit fire protection suit and nothing can burn through the armor or the ephesians 6 armor that you have placed upon us from the crown of our heads to the sole of our feet god may we never worry or be concerned about what the enemy will try to do to us or do against us may we stand steadfast may we set our faces like flint may we meditate upon your word day and night may we be faithful to do what is in your word that we might prosper that we might have good success I declare and decree that those who obey you in this season, O God Almighty, will eat the fruit of the land, will eat the good of the land, will produce goodness, O God Almighty, and be a blessing to others. May our lives be an example of your goodness. For your word says, O God, that you will not, ah uh, God, ignore or deny the good work of our hands. And so, Lord God Almighty, as we stretch forth our hands to be a blessing to others, as we stretch forth our words to be an encouragement to others as we stretch forth our lives to be an example oh god almighty of your goodness and your mercy god may we flourish may we prosper but more than anything else oh god may those who are looking on at our lives may those who hear what we say may those who experience the blessings from our hands may they be transformed may they be reconciled may they become reconcilers in the mighty name of jesus christ of nazareth we glorify you today oh god almighty lord let every fourth watch family member this morning experience your goodness experience your love experience your glory ah uh, god from today may our latter years begin now may we flourish and prosper may we be strengthened may we not experience any untimely death in our families or in our own lives in the mighty name of jesus christ god almighty may nothing be missing or broken from our lives may the blessings of the lord that make rich and add no sorrow be our portion today tomorrow and the rest of our lives in the mighty name of jesus christ of nazareth god may favor search for us and find us may angelic assistance be our portion every day may the holy spirit lead us always and your glory hallelujah be our rear guard in the mighty name of jesus christ lord may we go forth with a lamp on our on our feet and a light unto our path in the mighty name of Jesus Christ Lord God Almighty may we run in the in the in the in the times of difficulties and in the times of good and never get weary may we walk and never faint may we be like hinds feet O God Almighty where we can jump up to high places may we have wings like eagles that we will soar above the plots and plans schemes and traps storms of the of the enemy in the mighty name of Jesus Christ 
May we flourish in this season. May your favor be so evident upon our lives uh, that that which had not happened for years uh, happened in moments, uh, happened in minutes, uh, happened in days, uh, happened in weeks. Uh, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, uh, God may every financial issue that has been plaguing every member of this Fort Watch family, any member of this Fort Watch family, oh God, uh, that are struggling and are living hand to mouth, uh, that are not able to, 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 to maneuver and manipulate uh, the, the resources that are coming in. Father, we speak overflow of resources. We speak financial inflows. We speak financial expansion. We speak an expansion, God Almighty. Father, we ask in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Yes, Lord, I hear you, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. People of God, just grab a money. Grab a money from anywhere. Grab a money. Grab a money. Grab a money. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Grab a money. Grab a money. This is my, um, my, 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 my knapsack. Um, you have money anyway yes yes praise god just grab a money hallelujah grab a money grab a money somebody just run and grab a money hallelujah grab a money grab a money grab a money hallelujah grab a money hallelujah grab a money a representation of money even a coin grab a money but if you can get a paper money this is is is, is five hundred dollars jamaican just grab a money and just say money money you have ears come forth come forth in abundance come forth i wave this money as a wave offering before the lord and i say money i call you forth by the anointing of the lord come to my life this month this year come to my family this year come in abundance this year come in hundreds of millions come in u.s dollars in pounds in jamaican dollars in wherever you are living whatever currency hallelujah there are some standard international currencies that if you have it it can use in any country like the pound and like the u.s and like the euro hallelujah so call it in in hundreds of millions monies i command you to find the way in household 14 gerbira find us in the mighty name of jesus christ of nazareth find us in abundance find our bank accounts why a transfer from heaven why a transfer from the rich the bible says that the wealth of the wicked is laid up for the just i declare that the wicked shall start to transfer to us in the mighty name of jesus christ by faith we say lord god almighty we need this resource to exist and to do great work for your kingdom in the earth in the mighty name of jesus christ and some money we declare that you have ears and you must come forth come forth in the name of jesus christ of nazareth come forth to build churches come forth to build halfway homes come forth to set up uh, uh, orphanages come forth to expand and increase the kingdom of god come forth to support mothers and children who are who have been dislodged from their place come forth to support women who are in relationships but they have they have given them life to the lord but they have nowhere to go so they have to stay in a house with a man that is unsaved come forth oh god to build places of safety for these people in the name of jesus come forth oh god to help abuse women hallelujah and abuse children to find a place of safety come forth to build hospitals and and and, and churches and other things that help people come forth to build uh, restaurants oh god that will feed the poor soup kitchens in the mighty name of jesus christ money hallelujah answer it all things hallelujah and so lord let money come forth let money hear our voice and come forth to be a blessing to us personally and to the bless the kingdom of god in the mighty name of jesus christ and those who truly have a heart to be a blessing to the kingdom who have a who have a heart to expand and to give and to be a blessing god let much more come to them in the mighty name of jesus christ of nazareth let your will be done god almighty father by prophetic faith and decree we declare this morning money come forth come forth in hundreds of millions in billions to the fourth watch family members hallelujah according to your will and by your purpose for your purpose in the mighty name of jesus christ lord we thank you that it is done we speak it in the atmosphere because the money have ears it must hear and we come in agreement and join lord you when you needed money hallelujah you told peter go down to the to the sea 
cast a hook and the first fish that you catch hallelujah open his mouth and money will be there this morning this day this afternoon tonight whatever time zone we're in we declare god almighty that in the realm of the spirit we cast a hook we cast a hook we cast a hook in the sea of the spirit and we hook a fish and we pull forth and billions come out in the name of jesus christ lord that coin right today would have been worth millions maybe hundreds of millions because it was a special coin minted in heaven and sent by the fit by by by, by the other father through that fish's mouth and so lord god almighty made that amount that was in that fish's mouth multiply a thousand fold and come to each of us as we fish for money this morning in the mighty name of jesus christ of nazareth we thank you lord that blessings untold will be our portion in this season in the name of jesus christ and lord as the wealth comes may our hearts not be caught up in the wealth but may the wealth O oh god almighty be used in the proper way in humility in honor in peace in integrity in the name of jesus may we not forget you oh god and and, and go, go off in the wrong direction like solomon did unfortunately but may we be steadfast immovable may we give thanks and praise in uncommon ways and in excess oh god almighty as you bless us may nothing be missing or broken from our lives because we have what we need in this time and in this season god may we be an example of your goodness in this time and in this season father we pray that every altar that has been set up against our bloodline every altar set up against our bloodline to bring sickness poverty lack insufficiency this morning we set fire to them now in the name of jesus christ of nazareth fire to every unclean altar fire to every de debilitating altar every altar of death and destruction every altar of, no of, of never make it every altar of failure every altar of marriage this Discord of marriage destruction, every altar of divorce, every altar of witchcraft, every altar set up in our lives, O God Almighty, by our forefathers or by neighbors and friends of those that have gone before us that are, are, are reaping fruit are bearing fruit in our lives now god almighty we reverse that curse and destroy that altar in the mighty name of jesus christ every altar of low self-esteem every altar of rejection every altar of hurt and pain every altar of disappointment that have come down through the umbilical cord of our parents and grandparents we reverse and sever that altar connection now in the mighty name of jesus christ and we declare god almighty that we shall live and not die we cancel every assignment everything that has been spoken over our lives by our, whether knowingly or unknowingly by those that have gone before us God even our siblings that have cursed us unknowingly we reverse every curse and declare that we are blessed and highly favored we are blessed and not cursed God Almighty every curse that have been spoken even by spouses God in the midst of anger in the midst of frustration in the midst of arguments or disagreements God Almighty things have been said hallelujah that have released curses god we reverse those curses now in the mighty name of jesus christ of nazareth we reverse the curses that have been released even through thoughts in the name of jesus christ of nazareth we reverse every curse that we have spoken over our own lives father we have said things callously and, and irresponsibly as idle words like my head kill me like my poor like my broke like my ugly like me never gonna make it like it looked like my life is not meant to be married all these curses that we have spoken over our lives father we repent and reverse them now and much more in the name of jesus even those that we do not remember we repent and reverse them come on people of god repent and reverse every curse that you have inadvertently spoken over your own life thinking that it is just something to say thinking that it is just a part of the culture or the nature thinking that it is not serious hallelujah but lord we know how serious words are for your word says life and death is in the power of the tongue and so this morning by grace and mercy we reverse every curse that we have spoken god we talk about oh god no bright people not in 
in our family and so we are not bright we can't remember things we reverse that curse in the name of Jesus and I declare that supernatural intelligence supernatural brilliance supernatural excess is in our lives in the name of Jesus I declare and decree that we have the mind of Christ and every altar set up that makes us think differently I reverse and destroy that in the name of Jesus everything that we have spoken over our own selves that have limited our mental capacity that have limited our ability to think and to create and to become we reverse that curse in the name of Jesus Christ every altar set up against us oh God to cause us not to flourish and prosper and increase and expand not to take advantage of our gifts talents and abilities we reverse that curse in the mighty name of Jesus Christ every altar set up to stop our books that we have written from from selling and prospering hallelujah and impacting nations every every altar set up God to block <coughs> our gifts and talents from producing poetry and songs and and, 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 and and all fine kinds of inventions God we reverse that those curses and we declare that we are blessed and highly favored God Almighty we are the, 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 the goodness of the Lord in this land and we will flourish we will prosper in the name of Jesus Christ our talents that are supposed to be used to advance companies and cause us to get promotions to high places in these companies and to make godly decisions and godly leadership father God we reverse those blockage curses that stop us from getting those promotions in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth I declare that managing directors business owners presidents and vice presidents hallelujah managers supervisors are numbered among this family in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth I declare that our talents will not be buried and will not be stymied will not be delayed derailed or denied but will go forth books and, and songs that are in us God that have not yet come forth we call them forth like the fish out of the sea with the money in his mouth I declare that every talented fish hallelujah that is in us God Holy Spirit root, root it up root it up root it up cause it to come up and produce like the fish produced for Peter that he could pay off his debts I thank you Lord, that no debt burden shall be upon any Fort Watch family member. No debt as in D-E-A-T-H and no debt as in D-E-B-T shall be our portion in this year. In the name of Jesus, we cancel untimely debt and we cancel financial debts in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. We declare, God Almighty, that we shall owe for nothing. For your word says we should owe no man nothing but love. And thank you, Lord, that love is all that we will owe those around us God even banks mortgages everything God Almighty we are believing you for you are able to do and to be above all and so God Almighty we thank you that every single altar that have been set up to keep us in bondage in any way shape or form hallelujah we cancel and destroy them by fire as the fire that Elijah called down from heaven destroyed the entire altar including the water hallelujah and that which was upon the altar we say father every demonic altar set up against us may the fire of God may the fire that surrounds your throne may the fire that you sent for Elijah may the fire that you sent to defeat the enemies of Israel may that fire come forth for us now and destroy every altar working against us in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth for we must prosper this year we must flourish this year we must expand and enlarge and increase this year we must search out your word this year we must speak a thing and see it established this year we must call forth that which is not as though it were this year in the mighty name of Jesus Christ Lord I thank you that this first quarter of this year shall be a first quarter that our lives will impact and influence so many people that they will run to you and say I want some of that I want to know your God as as Nebuchadnezzar says Daniel's God is the only God he is the God that will deliver he is the God that we must worship he is the God that must be honored I thank you, Lord, that people will look at our lives and say, I net, I net, I net God, 
Ah, Norma's God, Trudy's God, come on, glory to God, the Costa, hallelujah, Sharon the Costa's God, Vinette's God, Felicity's God, hallelujah, surely will deliver. Ah, Edge, Edge Miller, surely your God will deliver. Yvette, your God will deliver in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Done it. They will declare that our God will deliver, will deliver. I declare and decree that this is the year when we will step out, when we will shout, when we will open our mouth and we will allow God to come out and he will change atmospheres he will shift circumstances he will cause all things to work together for our good yes many are the afflictions of the righteous but I declare this morning our God will deliver us out of them all in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth I declare and decree that this is the time and the season when we will see the hand of God as blessings that make rich and add no sorrow in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Father, I declare and decree this morning that our children, our offsprings, our descendants are blessed because we are blessed in the name of Jesus Christ. I declare that no weapon formed against our children shall prosper. I declare that nothing that the enemy desires to do against our children, they shall not be confused. Our children, the fourth watch family children, O God Almighty, shall not be taught the things of Satan, shall not be taught to, to depend on their soul, but on their spirit in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I declare that the spirit of the living God is imparted into our children, and they shall have sound mind, they shall have conscious mind, they shall have a godly mind. They, God Almighty, I declare that our DNA is 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 connected to the word of God and the word of God is connected to the right way of living righteousness holiness and truth and God that DNA is passed to our children and so God I come against every spirit of distraction every spirit of negative infiltration every spirit of rejection and depression every spirit of confusion that wants to come upon our children and every other foul unclean spirit of immorality that wants to come upon our children that make to be designed to embarrass us father i reverse i back back i set on fire oh god almighty every negative spirit that wants to attack our children and confuse and distort them in the name of Jesus. I declare that our children will know the difference between males and females. Our children will not be described as any insignificant, disgusting, uh, confused, sacrilegious uh, uh, term in the name of Jesus Christ. I back up, reverse, and destroy every plan of the enemy to 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 to. to, to to label our children with labels that cannot be recognized in heaven in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I declare that our children are children, our boys are boys, and our girls are girls in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I reverse every curse, everything that has been spoken to them, everything that they have heard. Oh God Almighty, everything that has been imparted into them by demonic forces while they sleep or while they watch cartoons or videos or TV shows. I reverse, yeah. I back back, I set on fire. I command by the anointing of deliverance everything that has entered our children to confuse their soul, their body, their spirit. I reverse it, I uproot it, and I declare them uncontaminated in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Lord God Almighty, I touch their private parts in the realm of the Spirit by your hands this morning, and I declare them sanctified. I declare them cleansed. I touch their mouths, and I declare their mouths cleansed. I touch their brains, and I declare their brains cleansed in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I declare that our children are free from every kind of immorality that they might, that they might be drawn into. Pornography, masturbation. I reverse every curse that God Almighty, the enemy, want to put on them to take away their self-control and take control over them god almighty every demon every demon from the marine kingdom the second heaven or from under the earth that wants to have intimacy with our children or even with us god i declare that when they come they will book upon the whole armor of God in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I declare God Almighty that every witch and warlock, every demon and devil, every spy that have been sent to 
even set up on this platform to reverse everything that we say father let them become uncomfortable let fire begins to manifest upon them god let fire from heaven fire from under their feet fire from around them god made them so uncomfortable that they will say i cannot go in the fourth watch hour or on the fourth watch platform because the fire is too hot god let hell be an insignificant fire compared to the fire that will come against those who wants to reverse and cancel what we say or what we decree or what we have said over about our families our lives our finance our health our children in the mighty name of jesus christ we declare that what we speak is what is and what is established why because your word says we are the ones with the power to tread upon serpents and scorpions we are the one with the power over all the power of the enemy and so who can come against us if you be with us if you be for us and so god we back back and send back every chant every decree every curse that have been spoken against us against our family against our address against our community against our nation in the mighty name of Jesus Christ we declare that God cannot lie let God be true and every man a liar and so God what men have spoken out of their mouths by demonic influence against us let it be backed up and destroyed let it go back to the marine kingdom under the depths of the sea let it be buried in a casket of uh, that cannot be broken let it go back to the second heaven and pay homage to Lucifer God we declare and decree that nothing but what you say is our portion that we are blessed and not cursed that we are the, the head and not the tail that we are above and not beneath that we are mighty through you to the pulling down of strongholds that we have power over all the power of the enemy that we will tear down principalities and powers and spiritual wickedness and everything that raises itself against the knowledge of God every, every ruler of darkness must bow at our feet because the Lord Jesus Jesus Christ whose name is above every name that at the sound of your name every knee must bow and every tongue confess that you are Lord it is you who lives in us therefore every demon and devil every witch and warlock everything that wants to come against us must bow at our knowledge and understanding of who you are in us and for us in the mighty name of Jesus Christ Lord, this year we will not take any prisoner. This year we will not be lukewarm. This year we will not be set back, delayed, derailed, or denied. This is the year of advancement. This is the year to soar. This is the year when we will launch out like never before. This is the year where we will stand on any accomplishment, achievements, or blessing, or favor, or, or, or victories in 2022. We will stand upon the top of that victory and propel and launch and advance into great greater levels of victory yeah. this is the year oh god when our marriages will be amazing when amazing marriages will bear fruit and come forth yeah. in the mighty name of jesus christ this is the year god almighty when we will own our own homes this is the year when we will start new ministries ministries on our verandas ministries in our living rooms this is the year when we will start ministries where we go out and do good for people feed the homeless feed the sick our oh, god almighty provide homes provide blessings blessings and favor provide encouragement this is the year when a prophetic uh, anointing will be released upon your people Amen. with self-control knowing and discerning when to say when to do what to do how to do by your wisdom knowledge and understanding in the name of Jesus this is the year when the fourth watch family oh God Almighty will produce on common people of God and common men and women of God that will be and do for your good pleasure this is the year O oh God Almighty when you will cause anointed men and women that you can trust to arise men and women who you are well pleased to arise in the name of Jesus this is the year O oh God when the idle things that we used to speak out of our soul and make excuses that you're still working on us this is the year when that is cancelled from our dna in the name of jesus christ this is the year when what we speak will be edifying exhorting and comforting in the mighty name of jesus christ this is the year O oh god almighty when we will receive double for our trouble like job in the mighty name of jesus christ this is the year when none of our words will fall to the ground like 
Samuel in the name of Jesus Christ. This is the year when a double portion of that which was upon those before us will be upon us as it was with Elijah and Elisha in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. This is the year when healing and deliverance will be our portion both to receive and to give in the name of Jesus. This is the year when people will be saved because they encounter us in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Lord, this is the year when we will not depend on others to expand your kingdom, but we will play our role in bringing men to repentance by your spirit in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. We glorify you today, O God, for the work that you have already done in the realm of the spirit and that you have given us the ability to tap into and to pray, to bring into pass concerning us in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We thank you this morning, O God Almighty hallelujah for the ability to declare from the place of confidence from the place of authority and power a blessing over the nation of israel father your word says those who bless israel you will bless them we as a family come in agreement this morning and we declare peace over jerusalem blessing over israel favor and grace over our spiritual favor and grace over the nation of israel and the jewish people we declare god almighty that this day israel israel and Israelis will recognize that the Messiah Yeshua the Amashiach of Nazareth has already come he was born in a manger in Bethlehem grew up and gave his life on the cross for them and for us and I thank you Lord God that they will cease to be discouraged and dissuaded and 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 hallelujah and led astray by any foul unclean luciferian spirit that poses as a religious spirit that causes them to deny that jesus christ of nazareth is lord i thank you lord god that the scales will fall off their eyes like the temple curtain was ripped in the temple of solomon and god they will have access to the holies of holies who is the holy spirit of god i thank you lord god almighty that as the apostles who bear the same name the same culture the same nature as those that exist now god as they got it and turned as they got it and learned as they got it and earned as they got it god almighty and sent forth hallelujah to the churches that were established and the principles that were written up in the word god made the modern day jews come to recognize and accept oh god almighty that jesus christ has come and has died for all, for their redemption and reconciliation and god almighty as he's about to come again as he's about to come again lord god almighty as your son yeshua the Mashiach of nazareth is about to put in his appearance again god may none who were called who were ordained who were written up our god to experience eternal life in the blessings of heaven god may none be missing may none be broken may none lose their opportunity because of ignorance or because of demonic influence in the name of jesus we shut off the ears of every child of god from the influence of lucifer in the mighty name of jesus christ god we declare that what he spoke into eve's ears will not come into our ears he will not convince us to live a boaty life, a lukewarm life, as a part sin and part, uh, and part righteous life. Lord, we will set our faces like flint in this season and we will pursue, overtake and recover all that you have put in place for us. God, we declare that our names will not be in the Lamb's Book of Life this month and wipe out next month, but it will stay permanently in your book, O God Almighty. I declare and decree that the gift of discernment is a Upon us in an uncommon way right now i impart by anointing and power the gift of discernment that we will discern between good and evil spirits that only the voice of the lord jesus christ of nazareth by the holy spirit we will acquiesce to we will bow to we will listen to that we will obey and follow in the name of jesus all other voices all other demonic influence will come upon the helmet of salvation and bounce off in the mighty name of jesus christ of nazareth i declare that our mind is the mind of christ and we will only think on the things that are pure the things that are good the things that are of good report the things that are lovely hallelujah the things that are peaceable the things that expand and elevate and enlarge the things that make things different around us to the glory of the lord 
I declare that we are strong in our soul and in our spirit and covenanted and committed to righteousness, holiness, and truth according to the will and purpose of God. I declare that this year we shall be mighty warriors. We shall not only be dressed in armor, but we shall have the shield of faith and the sword of the spirit. And every attack of the enemy shall be dispelled by the quick, the fiery dart shall be quenched by our shield and the sword shall go to war to not only make a pathway for others to follow but to defeat the enemies that are in the promised land where we are supposed to take dominion over. I declare and decree that this is our year to take possession and so Lord as we launch into 2023 may it be like when the children of Israel launched over the Jordan across the Jordan into hallelujah and exp when we experience Jericho may the war come down at our very presence not our walking around or our shouting God may we move assiduously may we move speedily may we move with alacrity may we move with great power and might God as the Assyrian army heard oh God almighty the mighty thunderous wheels of chariots and horses and and and, and footprint footsteps oh God almighty and they became terrified and ran away hallelujah god made the enemies of our souls hear our footsteps in this 2023 and may it sound like a mighty army from heaven and god may they rise and step away and leave the blessing and leave the favor like the four O oh god almighty lepers had more than they could manage to the point where they would call the people in the city and say come enjoy god may we enjoy the spoils because our enemies have run away in the mighty name of jesus christ of nazareth glorify yourself O oh god almighty be it unto us according to your word for your will and for your purpose sake let your will be done in us and through us. Father, we desire to launch. We desire to soar. We desire to take possession. We desire to take dominion. We desire to walk in the fullness of your gifts, talents, and abilities. We desire to impact our nation, our community, our families. We desire to be uh, according to your will, to accomplish the purpose for which we were born. Lord, let us none of us die before we accomplish all, like Paul, like Peter, like James like John. Father, you, Lord Jesus Christ, could not have died before you finished the work that you came to do. Therefore, we in this Fort Watch family cannot, will not, should not die before we complete our purpose. Father, may we be steadfast, immovable, set our face like flint to know, to understand, and to execute our purpose by the leading of your spirit may none of us be confused as to what our purpose is <coughs> may none of us oh god almighty not understand and not have the tools to fulfill our purpose in the mighty name of jesus christ of nazareth let a purpose fulfillment anointing come upon every person hearing my voice now in the mighty name of jesus christ let no spirit of confusion no spirit of fear no spirit of doubt no spirit of rejection or low self-esteem block us from advancing in our purpose in this season in the name of Jesus Christ Lord those who were already in purpose hallelujah like Marsha and myself father we speak acceleration we speak increase we speak new levels our oh, God Almighty unto those who have already started increase increase and those who have not yet started those who are still asking Lord what is my purpose father may today not end End without them knowing and beginning to advance into purpose in the mighty name of Jesus Christ Lord those who need teaching and revelation on what their purpose is and what their purpose is supposed to accomplish father let it be done by angelic forces now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ do a quick work do a mighty work oh God Almighty to so that purpose can be established and begin to fulfill in the name of Jesus Lord we know for a fact that your coming is near let no fourth watch family member see you come without purpose being fulfilled in the name of jesus christ lord we desire to run the good race and fight the good fight ah because we know a crown awaits us and a robe a new robe awaits us hallelujah let it be so according to your will let it be so according to your will i declare health and strength prosperity and good success over every member of this family and their family in the name of jesus christ of nazareth and we thank you lord 
that it is well and it is done in Jesus' mighty name. Amen and amen. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. What a time of prayer. What a time of declaration. What a time of receiving. Come on, hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Come on, just repeat after me. This is... This is the year of purpose. The year of purpose. I will. I will fulfill, fulfill God's purpose. God's purpose for my life. For my life. In the name of Jesus Christ. I grab my purpose. I grab my purpose. I ride my purpose, I ride my purpose into, 2023 into 2023 to accomplish, to accomplish what, God desires for me to accomplish. what God desires for me to accomplish. I reject. I reject. I renounce. I renounce fear. Fear, pride, pride, lust, lust, greed, greed, low self-esteem, low self-esteem, rejection, rejection, unforgiveness, unforgiveness, and anything else, and anything else that will block me, that will block me from the presence of God, from the presence of God, and from fulfilling purpose. From fulfilling purpose. I declare, I declare that as of now, that as of now, I am on the road. I to fulfilling my purpose, fulfilling my purpose. And, no weapon and no weapon formed against me, formed against me and, my purpose, and my purpose and my family's purpose, my family's purpose shall, prosper. shall prosper. I will impact, I will impact my, family, my family, my community, my community and, my and my nation for the glory the of the Lord Jesus Christ, the Lord Jesus Christ by, the Spirit, by the Holy Spirit in Jesus name, in Jesus name. Amen Hallelujah, hallelujah. Come on, give the Lord a round of applause. Give the Lord a round of applause. Praise Him, praise Him, praise Him. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Great things are happening. Great things are happening. Great changes have come to our lives this morning. Great shifts have taken place in the atmosphere. We are ready. We have launched out and God is boosting our rockets. Hallelujah, that we will get there quickly. We have been sufficiently encouraged. We know what we need to let go of. We know what we need. Come on. Hallelujah. The rocket boosters uh, can only get you to a certain part of the atmosphere for those who are familiar with when a, a, a spaceship is being launched into out of space. There are some things, I think uh, two or three uh, uh, um, rocket propelled engines that are around the, 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 the spaceship and it, 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 it is so powerful that it takes them about out to the um the higher stratosphere out to the place where the gravitational pull is not so much that a single engine uh god almighty can now take you to where you need to get to but the rocket boosters after it get to the place where it is supposed to they fall off and fall back to the earth i declare and decree that everything that you have accomplished thus far in your life in your walk with christ are like rocket boosters and they will fall off in this year and you will go by the engine of the holy spirit to a higher stratosphere you will make it not beyond the moon and you will accomplish everything hallelujah that you will need to accomplish in the name of jesus christ as the first man landed on the moon and said hallelujah one uh one step one small step for mankind glory to god we will take one step for jesus and a glorious step for mankind by accomplishing what god desires for us to accomplish in jesus mighty name mm -hmm. hallelujah 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 what a mighty god we serve what a mighty god we serve angels bow before him heaven and earth adore him what a mighty god we serve blessed be the name of the lord hallelujah 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 come on i want you to believe this morning like never before today this afternoon tonight if you're in australia hallelujah i want you to believe that god has heard our prayers and our decrees today and that he has answered because that's the kind of god he is he says i will help you come on if you look in isaiah 50 hallelujah verse 7 god says i will help you i will not allow you to be embarrassed and if you set your face like flint believing other words 
that I am your God, that I cannot lie, that I who caused a mighty army to come forth from dry bones, that I who caused the Red Sea to part and the Jordan River to part, I who caused the, jo the Jericho Wall to fall down, I who caused the enemies of Israel to fall at their feet and die, I that same God is your God and I will do the exceedingly abundantly above all you could ask, think or imagine as long as you believe me, as long as you set your face like flint I will do what I need to do on your behalf, says the Spirit of the living God. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. You will not be put to shame in this 2023 if you believe God with all your heart, mind, soul, and strength. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Glory to God. Today is an amazing day. Uh, yesterday and today are, are, are two amazing days uh, because an amazing person in our lives and in our family, in our personal lives as blood and in our fourth watch family, Auntie Pat and Uncle Aston, hallelujah, Auntie Pat's birthday was yesterday and Auntie Pat and Uncle Aston's anniversary is today. So come on, hallelujah, Marsha Clark's birthday is today as well, hallelujah, and our sister Marsha Clark, brother Stephen, hallelujah, his wife, you know, brother Stephen, he's always active and, and, um, and, and, and effective in in all the different areas of ministry his wife is the one that has her hand on his back making sure that he's always strong and so we need to wish her happy birthday and to bless her so that she continue to have strength to keep her man in position to lead and to be the king and the priest because without her he is much much less than what he would be today in the name of jesus christ of nazareth so antipat and Uncle Aston, happy anniversary, Auntie Pat, happy birthday from yesterday. It's still your birthday, girl. And uh, Marsha Clark, happy birthday. Glory to God to each and every one of you. Come on, glory to God. Hallelujah. So let's sing happy birthday first. Hallelujah to Auntie Pat and Sister Hallelujah Clark. And then we will do happy anniversary to Auntie Pat and Uncle Aston. Amen. After two, one, two. Happy, happy birthday. birthday. Happy, happy birthday. birthday. Happy birthday to two. Oh, happy birthday. birthday. Oh, happy birthday. birthday. I make a sing now. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday to two. Oh, no. Happy birthday. Bless the Lord, oh my soul. Father, we thank you for Marsha Clark ah, and Patricia Golson. In the name of Jesus, I pray that you will bless them cover them guard and keep them strengthen them in this season god cause there to be nothing that will stop delay derail or deny them from fulfilling their purpose in health and strength prosperity and good success lord that which you spoke over jeremiah that which you spoke over joshua that which you spoke to moses at the burning bush when you encountered him that which you spoke to samuel when you brought him into ministry in the temple encounter god may it be so for these two mighty women of god may today this birthday be a celebration of an encounter with you a celebration of a time when they are launching out in great power in great might and dominion in the mighty name of jesus christ may their lives never be the same again after today in the name of jesus christ bless them going out and coming in laying down and rising up may they arise in power and be an example of your goodness in the land of the living in jesus name Amen and amen. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Enjoy, ladies. Hallelujah. I know Stephen is going to take care of Sister Marsha today like never before. Hallelujah. Yes. Hallelujah. Right after Fourth Watch finish, man, go take care of business in every way, shape, and form. Hallelujah. Take out that gift, that nice big gift from under the bed or that is parked outside with a big red bow in the parking lot. Glory to God. Hallelujah. We know there is no limit to what you are able to do, Brother Stephen. So make sure that Pastor, uh, Sister Marsha will call and say, Why? Hallelujah. You want to see me give Pastor bringing it come to church so you can bless it for me. <laughs> uh, you. Uh, hello. What do you mean that we are fast, but I, I don't understand. What, you, your mind gone somewhere else? You think I was thinking something else, man of God? <laughs> Praise God. Hallelujah. 
all the better for the for the for the build up and the intensity for when you finish fasting. But the other gifts, the other gifts, yes. No, but that would have been your gift. It's her birthday. <laughs> Praise God. Hallelujah. We have been a good time, but we have been a good time in God. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. And so we just say happy anniversary to our Auntie Pat and Uncle Aston. Happy anniversary to both of you. And we bless you. We declare God's favor upon you. May long life, extended health and strength be your portion. May the windows of heaven open above your marriage. And may the gift of the grace of a great marriage be your portion going forward. May the latter years of God's blessing be manifest festive upon your marriage now in the name of Jesus Christ may the goodness of God and the blessings of the Lord that make rich and add no sorrow be manifested in your marriage and through your marriage to other others in your generation may a generational blessing of marriage and successful marriage be upon every member of your bloodline in Jesus name amen and amen hallelujah 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 Hallelujah. Bless God. Bless God. Brother Stephen, you say you get me in trouble with some people. I see some people covering them eyes. Hallelujah. But God is faithful. Amen. Glory to God. All right. We want to get into some word. Hallelujah. We're in 2 Corinthians chapter 5. 2 Corinthians chapter 5. The presence of the Lord is manifested in this place father we ask that as we dive into your word we do not take for granted that it is by our own knowledge wisdom or understanding that we are diving into your word but we are coming into your word hallelujah with the anticipation and expectation that the authority of your name and the power of your holy spirit hallelujah. will teach us and bring revelation and manifestation to us in the name of jesus christ let no flesh glory in your presence but only your holy spirit bring revelation and teaching to us in jesus mighty name amen and amen hallelujah 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 okay so we were uh we're in second corinthians chapter 5 we started at verse 17 building a momentum it says therefore if anyone is in christ in this way we do so oh no wrong place i'm reading sorry therefore if anyone is in christ he is a new creation it has been established over the last few days that we are a new creation it has been uh it has begun to bear fruit that we're a new creation because we are in Christ and all the old things are passed away. Uh, we don't have to reiterate. Each person now knows that we're supposed to be doing things new when certain thoughts come to our minds, when certain ways of living or acting or speaking comes to us. We need to suppress it. We need to rebel against it. We need to cancel it. We need to destroy it. And we need to think on the things that are good and right and true according to the will and purpose of God. Amen. That is what new creation means. The old lifestyle, the old way of thinking and living, the old way of saying a stay. That's how I am. That way must go and the excuse me, the new way of living as that's how God wants me to live. That's how God would do it. That's what Jesus would do. So that's what I'm doing. That's the new creation. That's the new way of living. Hallelujah. And the new has come. Verse 18 says, all this is from God who reconciled us to himself through Christ Jesus. The reason we are able to do or the reason we are required to live this new life, to speak differently, think differently, act differently, hallelujah, is because we are reconciled to God through Christ and we have by that extension been given also the ministry of reconciliation. It means that when we are saying, oh, I'm shy, I don't like to talk to people, so I leave pastor and I leave other people like Brother uh, Minister Stephen and others to tell people um, about Christ, to, to, to evangelize. The devil is a liar. The Lord says the same spirit that reconciled you is in you to reconcile others. You think that it must be done the way I do it, or Pastor Marsha do it, or uh, Minister Stephen do it, or, or Evangelist Raquel do it, but that's not true. That's not true at all. The way you live, how you encounter, if you are a male, 
and you're talking about you're shy, you don't know how to present the gospel of Jesus Christ, you know how to sweet talk and get a girlfriend, right? Hallelujah. Who taught you that? Nobody taught you that. It was naturally in you. The new creation that you are, it is naturally in you to reconcile man. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. I'm preaching now by the Holy Ghost. Uh, it's natural. Come on, ladies. The same way you know how to recognize, hallelujah, what a nice uh, uh, gentleman is and to and to um and to know who to let in and who not to let in you know what to do you know how to conduct an interview and to get a job hallelujah that you can provide for your family and yourself you know how to 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 to, to do other things and to engage with other people to form friendships even at school when you were a child it's the same way the same thing and so god is sick and tired of the excuses that we're giving about god i don't know how to do this i am reserved i am conservative i I, I, I like to be in the background and let other people do things. That's an excuse Satan has placed in your life to stop you from reconciling others that are in your space that only you can reach. Don't let Satan lie to you. Reject that lie. Cancel that lie. Shy is not for us. The new creation in us is bold as a, lamb, as a lion. Amen? Humble as a lamb, but bold as a lion. Amen? Glory to God. And so I break off of you even now that spirit of shyness, that spirit of fear that wants to masquerade as shy. Because when we, are, when, we, when we don't want to call it what it is, fear, we say shy. That's another word for fear. It is fear that causes us not to step out and be bold. But since we're a new creation, Fear cannot be in us. Fear cannot live in us. And so, Lord, I thank you this morning that every spirit of fear that caused people who have been born and transformed to reconcile, stopping them from reconciling, I tear that off of them. I rip off that clothes and I put on the clothes of boldness. I put on the armor, hallelujah, of victory upon your people. And I declare that they shall engage persons in their space, in their family, hallelujah, with the wisdom of God to reconcile men unto you in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Hallelujah. Yesterday we did 19 and 19 says that God was reconciling the world to himself in Christ. And so God, through Jesus Christ, reconciled the world. Now, if you think about that in its, from a revelatory perspective, you'll realize that through Jesus Christ's death, burial, and resurrection, all men had, have access, all 7.8 billion people that exist in the world today, including some people in the Illuminati, the Lodge, in witchcraft, in satanic churches and satanic worship, who are um, um, Scientologists and, um, and, and, and atheists and agnostics, all these people and much, much more. Some people who don't even know who they are or what they're about. They're just existing. Jesus loves every single one of them same way. Are you hearing me? Our job is not to judge and condemn. Our job is to reconcile. God give us one job and if we contaminate that job with anything else, God will hold us accountable. Am I talking to someone this morning? Our job is not, hallelujah, to be discouraged by one who is hard to reach. Our job is not to be discouraged or deterred or denied by any who we think is going to be hard to reach. Our job is not to be discouraged by those who are so far gone that you think that they can never be reached. Our job is to reconcile. Come on. God's job by the Holy Spirit is to hook and to bring in. Our job is to take the money out of the mouth or to scale, to gut, to clean up and to prepare. Our job is to reconcile. Stop making decisions about who you speak to, who you tell about Jesus because of what you see with your natural eyes because you never know who Jesus wants to draw to him. Our job is only to reconcile, not to assess, not to determine, not to, to, to reject or to pull in because most of the time when we try to make a decision about who God would want or who will accept Jesus, we get it wrong. Someone comes into church covered with tattoos, piercings all over, 
and we say, mm hmm, that one going straight to hell. That one is, is, is covered in Lucifer. That one will never make it. That one coming to, we start to walk around them. I've seen this happen before. Somebody going to church. And because they don't look the part, uh, people start walk around them and pray, hey, um, hey, um, and carry on with that kind of excitement. The devil is a liar. Persons come into church and some people don't want to sit beside them because they look like a witch. God never tell you is a witch, but they look like what you perceive a witch would be or what you perceive a warlock would be because them covered with tattoo all the way. They got those tattoos when they were unreconciled. They got those that tattoos when they were completely controlled by Lucifer. But now they have had an encounter and they want to come and be reconciled by Jesus through the Holy Ghost. And we are blocking them. We are stopping them. We in our prejudice and our racist tendencies that are deep inside of us and not the love of God are not reconciling are sometimes just by ignorance. But God is calling us to just focus on our one job. Reconcile by love. Reconcile by love. Reconcile by love. Love every single person. You may not have had a lot of tattoos on your body. You may not have had things that are external that people could see. But you were rotting on the inside i know i was oh god was god would smell the stench of my life of my lies of my stealing of my womanizing of my bad behavior of my uh, of my incessant this and that that were stink in his nostril and because any people on the outside couldn't see it when i put on my clothes and go to church even after I come from partying and, 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 and all kinds of immoralities in the night before, when I go into church the next day, because I didn't have any physical evidence, any outward evidence, I would be welcomed and everybody would clap and welcome me when I stand up for the first time visitor or whatever. And they would say, yes, and that, oh, nice man, nice man. Hey, you will make a good man of God. And they embrace me. But when you come and you have external issues, external things that makes them connect you to the things of the world and to sin and to, 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 to Satan's actions. You are isolated and you're not welcomed in the way that you should be. But I say to you, my family, God has called us only to the gift of reconciliation of God's people. Stop being discriminated because we don't like discriminatory because we don't like to, dis to be discriminated against. Yeah. We don't. Can I give an example? Yes, please. Go ahead. Good morning, everyone. Um, I remember as you were talking about being discriminatory, there was an, an, uh, an incident that occurred at somewhere, and um, some persons who knew that I was a believer called me to pray. And so I went to pray, and a lady now, um, in the quote unquote Jamaican terms, saw me and she said no no don't go in there don't go in there because based on what happened afterwards this is what i knew she was perceiving she said don't go into it like she said to me i can't manage what is happening um. so when i went in there now and um i started to pray and i started to you know buying up and whatever whatever when i came back out she told me she apologized to me <laughs> Hallelujah. She apologized. She said, I am so sorry. I she didn't ex, ex, she didn't have to explain what she was saying. Mm. But I based on what had happened when I was going in and based on what she said when I was coming out, I knew that based on how I looked, yes. at that time my hair was short and cut low and I have my makeup and my big foot pants on me. I just did not look like her. So she was stopping me from going in there because I cannot manage what is happening in there. <laughs> hey, and Jesus. when I came back out now, she apologized to me. My God. And that is what I, I am guilty to, Pastor, of looking at and at making an assessment based on what we see. God talks about the outward appearance and the heart. Mm. Sometimes the outward appearance can be a deterrent, but the heart... Mm. The yeah. heart. So we have to ask the Lord to give us the discernment to, to see, and sometimes the outward appearance can be so appealing, mm. but the heart. Amen. So it goes, it goes vice versa two yes. ways. Yes. So we have to be discerning. Come on, Hallelujah, Hallelujah, 
Hallelujah. And, and let me just add to that. Discerning is important. But discernment, come on, discernment without love, unconditional love, can be a weapon in the hand of an irresponsible individual. If you discern, and I've been a victim of people who just have the gift of discernment, and they discern certain things going on in the atmosphere, excuse me, and they come to try and harass and stress me. You must do this. You don't see this. How come you don't see that? You need discernment. You need to ask God to open your eyes so you can see. You need to ask God, this person is nothing. This verse, they did it. And they carry on and they torment and stress you. Because God gave them a gift of discernment before they were formed in their mother's womb. And they have not bothered to, 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 to pray and ask God to give them love. So that what they discern will not become a hindrance to God's purpose. Too many of us as Christians have gifts from God, but we have not applied that gift in love. And so we it, is, it has become a torture and a torment to others and to ourselves. If you discern that someone, I remember um, where we where church is, there is a, a security guard that was talking to, to Pastor Marsha. And it was related to me afterwards that he went to a church uh, obviously being drawn by the holy spirit he went to a church and when he stepped in through the door and was at the back the pastor looked down and discerned that there were some demons with him in him and following him and the pastor said young man there are seven devils with you come out don't come in here with your devils chased him out of the church people of god i swear to you i'm not lying chased him out of the church and he wrote off churches ever since for years until he came to a place where God's love existed. Not us. Come on. Because I can tell you, I have said this before, plain and straight. I'm not afraid to tell you. I don't like people. I don't like people. It is God who has caused me to become someone who can love people and is still learning how to love people unconditionally. So if you're going to be upset with me because I confess this, then go right ahead. But I have to be true because God already knows. God is teaching me how to love people. So when he came, I'm not saying that we're better than anybody else. I'm saying to you that God has done a work on us so that we could see this gentleman. No, because he has not been delivered, you know. <laughs> he was not delivered when he came to us. So those demons were still there. But we welcome him and he's in church. How often? Pastor Masha, regular. Regular, he's in church. Him come church when church down. empty, him just come sit down. Amen. I feel the pastor. presence of God. Mm -hmm. Him say, I just come to heal up, Pastor. I just come. He's just, he's just in our lives and around us. And it's not because we're good, but because we desire to just release God to people, to reconcile people through love. And so, guys, I'm saying to you, pray for discernment. Pray for anointing. Pray for giftings. Pray for God to manifest in and through us in ways that men may notice. But pray more than anything else that the love of God be the foundation of everything that man experience and encounter through us. Because if we can discern spirits, if we can discern the hearts of men, Jesus discerned Judas' heart but kept him close. Are you hearing me? Jesus discerned Judas's heart but kept him close anyway. How many of us could honestly say we could do that? How many of us could honestly say if I knew that someone was in my church, in my ministry, in my family that hated my very guts, that wanted to destroy me, that wanted me to fail, how many of us could still keep them in that space and pray for them earnestly some of you might say oh i could i could i am not telling you that i could i am not saying i could only by the grace of god god would have to divinely and sovereignly walk me through the process of being able to do that because the best of us would say it is only good wisdom to keep that person afar off. Yes, Lord, I will pray for them. 
but I pray for them from afar. You know those, those Christian comments that are not of God? I'll keep them far because wisdom says, if they want to hurt me, they will hurt me. Judas wanted to hurt Jesus, but Jesus kept him close in the family. Amen? Hallelujah. Wisdom is important, but love is more important. Wisdom by love is the best wisdom. Amen? Glory to God. Hallelujah. I think you should explain when you say you don't like people because I'm not sure if everybody understands. <laughs> it, me as the old man, Rowan as the old man, is not interested in, 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 in doing things and helping people and loving people and, and just being a part of, of what is happening with people. Loving people, truly, truly, truly loving people can only be accomplished by the Spirit of God and the Word of God. So I'm saying to you that, yes, I love, I, I, I will love my family. I will love my close friends. But in terms of loving strangers and, and just random people, that, that was not important to me in the past. In my natural ruin weird self, that's insignificant. I don't care about that. But in myself as a man of God, in myself as a carrier of the presence of the living God, the love of God constrains me not to be like my old self, but to love people like God loved people. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. For I must so love the world that I give my everything to all men. The Bible says give liberally to all men, but especially to those of the household of faith. And so, we must love each other first and foremost, but we must also love all men. That means, in, in another context, love those who you know. Love those who are in your household. Love those who are in your church. But make sure you love those who are in the world as well. Because those who are in your church are made up of those who was once in the world. Hallelujah. You get that, right? Fine. So I hope I sufficiently explained that in my natural self, I don't love all men, all people. But in my spirit renewed self, I have no choice but to learn daily how to love each man, each woman, each child, each adult unconditionally. And for some of us, it's a work in process, a work in progress. Right, Brother Marlon? Yes, but Amalan is one of those who try and be, uh, very hard to learn to love those outside of his circle. He love those in his circle, I mean, unconditionally. But those outside of who he considers to be in circle, he shot with them, hurt with them, say things sometimes when people say, my God, what am I doing why I hate me? <laughs> Hallelujah. But God is teaching Brother Amalan every single day how to love everyone, respect and honor everyone in the same way as those in your circle. It's the same way he's doing for me as well. Not too many people will admit that they're still learning how to love everyone, but we're not afraid to admit it. Amen? Hallelujah. So we're at verse 20. Hallelujah. Verse 20 says, We are therefore Christ's ambassadors. That's what we just explained just now. All of what I just explained, before we even get to this word, God, by his Holy Spirit, explained it. We are Christ ambassadors. What is a Christ ambassador? One who loves unto reconciliation. That's an intimate definition of a Christ ambassador. One who loves unto reconciliation. In other words, or put another way, one who loves people enough to reconcile them unto God. What does that mean? Sister Raquel, you see a handsome man outside and rather than see him first and think, oh my goodness, this could be a husband prospect. Look what him drive. Look how him look. Look at his height. He's educated. When you, instead of assessing him for a husband, you assess him for the kingdom 
Come on, glory to God. This would make a solid pastor, a solid evangelist. This man look like him would make a solid elder or an usher or a deacon. This man look like him would make a solid son of God, a king and a priest. Oh, Father, let me give me the wisdom to get him into the kingdom. If he becomes somebody's husband later on after God, fix him up and make him a good gift, including yourself, then that's fine. That's just an example because I can use my sister Raquel as that example. But we must see people firstly to the love of God and to a desire to reconcile them into the kingdom before we think anything personal. We see somebody in a big position at a company, managing director, president, vice president, and what we see is a big paycheck. What we see is prestige. What we see is 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 another level of um of socialization rather than seeing someone who could impact the kingdom. We must always see people through the eyes of love and God's reconciliatory spirit and not anything else. Amen. No other agenda. Because remember, when we seek first the kingdom of God. God says he will add all other things. If Sister Raquel brought in 15 men into the kingdom with a sole intent for God's love to be manifested to them and God's spirit to reconcile them, God will add the husband and all the other things that she needs. But we first have to be focused and committed to God's purpose with no agenda, no personal agenda attached to it. You get what I'm saying, guys? I hope so. Praise God. Hallelujah. So that's what being Christ's ambassadors is, ambassador is, or ambassadors. We have been given a mission to work on behalf of the country with a representation to the prime minister or the president. And all we do is what the prime minister or the president says we're to do. Everything we say to the people or to the country that we're an ambassador to is the mind and the heart of the president or the prime minister of the nation that we represent. Amen? That's an ambassador, guys. Hallelujah. As though God were making his appeal to us. See it? Confirmed by the word. When we speak, it must be as God is making an appeal through us. In the name of Jesus Christ. We implore you on Christ's behalf, be reconciled to God. That's verse 20. We implore you, hallelujah, on Christ's behalf, be reconciled to God. And so what he's, he's, he's saying to the, 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 the Corinthians, uh, be reconciled in a, 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 a demonstration of your reconciliation or your reconciled life is a life that walks in love and reconciliation mandate of others. That's how you know you have been reconciled. When you are seeking to love others and to reconcile others unto Christ. Not when you are seeking to get offering or tithe or, or, or seed or husband or wife. Come on. Or plane ticket. Or stay in another place, another country. Not any of those things. When you are living and showing and giving love and reconciling men unto God. That's when you have been reconciled. And that's when you're an ambassador. Truly. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Okay, we pick up at 21 tomorrow. Glory to God. Hallelujah. We pick up at 21 tomorrow. All being well. God willing. Praise God. I hope that you were blessed as always by the presence of the Holy One of Israel. And that you truly are encouraged to take on the day and to go say, hallelujah, without delay, Jesus Christ loves you and he wants to reconcile you unto himself in Jesus' name. Let's pray. Father, we bless you. You can hold your communion at the same time. Father, we bless you. We honor you. We adore you. We thank you for your encouragement this morning. We thank you that you have heard our prayers and that you have answered. We thank you, Lord, that health, strength, prosperity, and good success is our portion because nothing is impossible for you. 
and you want to bless your people so that we can be a blessing to those around us sanctify and consecrate these emblems even now oh god we pray may they be oh god of strength to our bodies health life and life more abundantly in the mighty name of jesus christ of nazareth glorify yourself today oh god and may it be so and done in jesus name amen, amen. hallelujah and so as the lord jesus christ took the bread he blessed it and broke it he gave it to the disciples and he said eat this is my body broken for you as often as you eat of it you do it in remembrance of me eat ye all of it in faith in jesus name Hallelujah. That's right, Sister Brenda. We have to ask God to help us each day in our daily living so that we can flourish and prosper according to His will. Amen. Likewise, He took the cup. He blessed it and took a sup and He said, Drink, this is my blood, the blood of the new covenant. As often as you drink of it, you do it in remembrance of me. Drink ye all of it in faith. In Jesus' name. hallelujah hallelujah thank you lord as i said before uh thank you so much for spending time with us this morning we know we do not take for granted that you could have gone elsewhere uh have your devotion by yourself or with your family or with other people but you've chosen to be a part of the fourth watch family and we do not take it for granted god bless you hallelujah raise your hands for the blessing and now may the lord bless you and keep you May the Lord make his face to shine upon you and be gracious unto you. May the Lord lift up the light of his countenance upon you and give you his peace in the name of Jesus Christ. Go forth, family, and have an amazing day, God's way. For our God has already shaken everything that is evil out of your day, his way, in Jesus' name. Remember, Jesus love you and we love the world I want to hallelujah god bless you on behalf of pastor marshall and ruan wade saying have a super cali fragilistic spl indocious day god's way amen bless you guys see you later hallelujah for later will be greater hallelujah with the jesus operator <laughs> bye blessings bless the lord oh my soul